Hey y'all, here is a what I eat in a day video as a realistic, starch-based, whole food, plant-based vegan. If you wanna see tons of plant-based inspiring videos, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the like button. It also really helps out with my channel. So here we go. I had been starting my day with breakfast first, right? Which was a Japanese sweet potato and then having coffee later on for hormone reasons, but it is nearing payday. It's payday today, matter of fact. And so I hadn't done a new order of like my Japanese sweet potatoes and everything. So I am not eating those in the morning. I'm doing my coffee again first and then doing uh, breakfast and then lunch. So I'll get it back. We'll get it back on track. And today I didn't even bring everything I needed. It's like stuff went south this morning. I was just trying to get the baby out of the house. She kind of woke up on the wrong side of the bed, bless her heart. And I didn't grab my casserole. So I, all I had was applesauce and potatoes. So you're about to see me for the whole first half of the day, live on applesauce and potatoes. I wasn't at a place where I could leave and uh, until later in the day, and I wanted to go on my walk, so I've got me some spicy mustard, I've got me tons of potatoes, right? You can't go wrong if you have potatoes, and then some applesauce, like what? Here are my uh, supplements. Look, they're getting less and less by the day with each video I show you because I need to re-up. And hey, today is payday, so we are ordering some more today. There's my B12, it's just one spray in the mouth, and then I've got my mushroom supplement as well as my turmeric, and here we're having some more potatoes. I even have my peeler in my bag, but I was like, you know what? I am not doing that because at this point I'm hungry, and I want to eat and so yeah down in some more applesauce <laughs> and here's the really funny part so I'm on my way to the mall and you hear me over here talking about or I'm at the mall rather going on my lunch break going on my walk and your girl could not resist getting that guilty my my guilty snack I don't even want to say guilty let's take guilt out of the vocab a chai tea latte and here I am talking to you about payday but yet I am i gonna get some chai tea latte what but sometimes you just gotta sometimes you just gotta and sometimes it's easy to fight that fight but yesterday was not the day the temptation was strong <laughs> end of the day I'm back at home my mom's come over for a visit and we're chatting and I'm making food and filming at the same time so I've got some of this lotus I love the lotus foods rice and that came from natural grocers I had some pre-chopped up yellow squash which was so great oh it was so nice to have that already prepped it really is something to that meal prep and that everybody talks about that gives you relief when it's time to cook and when you're hungry, especially because I'm hungry and I'm like low on fruit in the house. And so I am bugging it out until we replenish that grocery, <laughs> that grocery stock up on them groceries. So uh, anyways, I am filling up two different cups with the rice and it's a uh, one and three fourth cup water two times, right? And I'm steaming some of those yellow squash. Berkeley here is asking me, cause she like, she wanted to snack on some peanut butter while she was waiting for dinner. And then she asked if she could put some of the peanut butter in her bowl. Well, she's already got mangoes in the bowl. So I'm gonna take those out and end up eating them myself. And this is a nice little pre-dinner snack that I'll have sometimes as I just heat up some frozen mango. I heated it up way too much this time, but generally like a minute is good. And um, yeah, I had a little tangerine that I was snacking on too. But anyways, when it comes to the frozen mango, it tastes really good if you put the taquin on top. And Berkeley was trying to grab it from me and I'm like, this is spicy. And so um, I got to snack on that. I'm about to make some of my yummy bean cheese sauce and it is made out of all the ingredients you see here now i'm using a little bit of different seasonings that i normally would and i normally use rice vinegar but i ran out and so apple cider vinegar is a fine replacement and it was really really good with that and the cool thing is is i've been talking lately to y'all about intuitively using seasonings intuitively going with stuff instead of following that recipe word for word or memory by memory it's so much less stressful on me and i'm learning different i'm learning by now like what works how much of what to use and it's really cool here's the baby's food even though she does like yellow squash she at today said i don't like that so sure i took it off the plate that's fine added it onto mine there will be no forcing of eating any food in this family it is not like that. I encourage a healthy relationship with my child's food. If you ever want to check out any of my videos on raising a vegan toddler or, you know, plant-based meals for a toddler, I have so many. Check them out. Here's my lovely dish, yellow squash, beautiful brown rice with that cheese sauce. I ate like three servings. It was so good. I tried to get my mom to try my vegan cheese sauce, but she was eating her Chinese food and said, not right now, but I think she thought about it. She thought about it. <laughs> if you want to support my channel further, you can go to buymeacoffee.com or hey, buy me a chai latte and we'll see you guys next time. Next time, don't forget to subscribe.